Gunnar Henderson will start us off. Went to the fastball. Looked like Gunnar knew what was coming there. That ball is cracked. That ball is going to leave this building. Welcome to the new year, Gunnar Henderson. A leadoff home run in the second game of the season. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Cannon got him on a change up the pitch before that. He tried to sneak a 94-mile-an-hour heater by him, and Gunnar Henderson would have none of it. Bobby started to go and stopped. And that is going to be down for a base hit. Martin, the rookie, did a good job of making it look like he had a chance to catch it. And Vinny gets his first hit of the year. Royce Lewis pummeled fastballs last year. So Reagan's two pitches, curveball, changeup, and the 0-2. A swing and a drive into left field and deep. Back it goes and gone! Royce Lewis, welcome to 2024. An 0-2 opening day home run to left. The stage certainly not too big. The lights definitely not too bright. 423 feet, and the Twins are on top. one nothing on opening day. Are you kidding me? This guy is unbelievable. Respectable 272 batting average, a low OPS, but a high hard hit rate, especially for a rookie. And that's belted to left field. And just like that, the game is tied. What a way to start a season. Beautiful little wrinkle. Looked like a little cutter that just laid up there. And he hesitated for a split second and let the barrel do the talking. Ties it up just like that. Brings the fans out of their seat. What a stroke. And the Twins did not get to see this version of Cole Reagans. And Santana is down on strike. And with that toss down to first base, Cole Reagans has a Royals record nine strikeouts on opening day. Volpe sends a towering drive to left center field. Back it goes and gone. Anthony Volpe's first home run of the season. Yankees five, Astros three. Well, that pitch stayed right there on the inner half. And see how his hips get open up to the ball and about four more feet to the right. That wouldn't have been a home run, but he didn't he didn't hit it four more yeah, feet to the right. right. Toward right center. Walker on the run. Dives and comes up with a great catch. Jordan Walker saves a double and maybe more with a great grab. And San Diego out in order in the fifth inning. Oh, I agree with that. Smoked. That's a fair ball. Jordan Walker, big lumbering strides around first on his way to second. The throw off target and a good start for the Birds. They lead off with an extra base hit, looking for some late insurance. First pitch swinging, Francisco Alvarez. It's a rope to left, and it's out of here. Francisco Alvarez on the first pitch from D.L. Hall was ready and roped one into the seats and left for his first home run of the year and the Mets are on the board. It's now three to one. Three and two with Stewart on deck. It's sharply into left center field a base hit. Alvarez takes the turn. He's going to try it. Fearless throw to second. And he's safe. A hustle double for Francisco Alvarez. Wrapped on the ground base hit to center. Stopping at second is Talkman. I like that run, and it's a simple reason. After a base on balls, you're the number nine hitter. Runner goes, pitches the ball, throw to second, tag, out at second. Miguel Amaya cuts down Tyro Estrada. He's been working hard in his throwing of late, and it pays off. Slowly hit, Beatty has to charge. Tough play on the run, and he got him by Estrada. Nicely done by Brett Beatty. Really nice charge. No margin for error. Strong throw. Got him. For Beatty. And he drives one out to right center field. That's deep. Churio near the wall. It's out of here. Brett Beatty with a pinch hit three run homer off the left hander. And the Mets are right back in this game. Called strike three, so three Ks in the inning for Anthony Bender. 
you base the run differential win loss they did better they overperformed just as Bender does right there gets a big strikeout strands to one run game called strike three frozen on the sweeper there's a swing and a miss and a strikeout for Brown to begin his season well you can see how this ball cuts and that's that 92 mile an hour cutter slash slider however you want to quantify it. No two pitch chokes up swings and misses and a score is first inning for Hunter Brown another 0 2 swings and misses Brown with his third K. That's going to be a fair ball off the bat of Caballero down beyond the bullpen toward the corner. Rodbert will go to third on the two base hit by Caballero who wasted no time at all in picking up the two base hit. Two seam fastball get the barrel to it quickly and keep it fair. See that little acknowledgement to the dugout it was almost like he told him he was going to do something I, like I, I told you. <laughs> Tristan Casas looking for hit number two. He's going to crank this one deep to right. Butler racing back, turning, and that ball is going to be off the wall. Story into third and sliding into second. Tristan Casas. It's finally, you know, the fastball in, too. They're trying to go away. A lot of where you try to attack Casas is fastballs away. When you leave it out over the middle of the plate like that, good night. Nobody on base, 3 2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Rodriguez. Frustrated and Crawford with another K back to back K's. He thought that 2 0 pitch was up, looked like it caught the top of the zone. Goes to this cutter here, and that has some great vertical drop down. Sal Freelich with a liner to center, and it's down. Nearly a diving catch by Harrison Bader. Instead, it just fell out of his glove. And the Brewers get another knock. Sal Freelich's first hit of the season. There's that heater, bottom of the zone. Guess what? Freelich, bottom of the zone, kind of where he likes it. Yeah, I think Bader had that in the web. He rolled right over it. Deep center. He certainly got enough of this one, didn't he? An absolute bomb to straightaway center. Vladdy's first of the season. That's got to feel so good for him on opening day with the kind of season he is hoping to have for this team this year. And especially because of where he hit it. He hit it to the deepest part of this field above the batter's eye in center field. Michael Kelly got the last out. This is loop to right and Butler can't get it. And off to the races is Luciano. Is he will jog into second base with a double. But I will say this about Luciano. I mean, he, he's a guy that goes to right field a lot. That's really what first impressed us. Is he can put a charge into right field. That's right off the end of the bat. And Butler may tell you that he'd like to have another shot at this one. His one do. Swing and a miss. Now, good start for Bryce Miller. He strikes out the first batter that he faces this year. Another strikeout early on for Bryce Miller. He struck him out. That split finger is a nasty, nasty thing. Miller's one, two. He struck him out. Five strikeouts for Bryce Miller. That was a big one. Now with a ground ball, Neto sliding stop. Gets up, heaves it to first. In wow. time to get Josh Bell. That's a highlight play. That's in the outfield and turns around and fires it to first base. It looks like it was destined to be a base hit. How quickly he got up on the transfer and a lot on the throw. And there's a drive toward the left field corner. This one is deep as it bounces off the wall. Shonowell gets to third. We'll see if he's waved home. Yes, he is. Relay throw on the way from Anderson to the plate is a strong one. It is in time. What a throw by Tim Anderson. Yeah, it's always dangerous. To challenge that arm. It's an accurate arm and a strong throwing arm. Good luck simulating that. Miguel Sano right through the hook from Grayson Rodriguez. Yeah. Oh boy. What a wave. You get hurt on that swing. A change up to get Trout. Shotwell can sit down now. He is reading hitters and their tendencies and making the necessary adjustments to get them out. He did go around strike three on a slider. 
You talk. You, you say high fastball. Is that what I heard that's, you say? Yeah, yeah. That is. That's masterful from Scooble. That's three pitches and see you later to one of the best hitters the White Sox can offer. And this ball clobbered deep left field. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Ezekiel Tovar has tied this ball game at two. 15 home runs last year for Ezekiel, and this one was loud. Immediately off the bat, you knew it was gone. 